my complaint to a Buddhist monk. Now some of you may well know what a baker this is, and I have been unfortunate enough to acquire one or two in the back of one of my knees. This is a note I sent to my Dharma teacher, the Buddhist monk, when I felt it was a bit unfair, I have to say, while not being fatal, he was somewhat limiting in movement, and the pain, well that cannot be understated. To add another layer of frustration and stress, I was moving house at this time, and being in a rather agitated and somewhat distressed state by the incredible darting, throbbing pain up and down my leg, uh, and that it had swollen twice as high, I turned to the Buddhist monk, where I go for Dharma lessons, to support her and support her advice. I might add he has a great sense of humour and the patience of a truly wise man, especially in my case. I thought I'd give him a call and ask his advice about the series of Baker Sisters and what are my needs. So I complained to the, the monk about the extreme pain and the frustration of trying to move out while in this condition. That I had the black I felt I had the black dog hunting me at times. The reclaim from the reply came back. Sorry to hear this run well. Keep a calm mind. When the black dog pops in for a visit, send him quietly and peacefully on his way. Me remember? It's all an illusion. An illusion? What? The pain? Is it an illusion? The damned illusion is firing up and down my leg. I told it so many times it's just an illusion. Now oh, I'm getting a little confused, as the illusion is not getting the message as frustrated as I decided to take it in hand myself. So I told the monk what I did. I said, thank you, sir. I did that right after I gave my swollen, throbbing leg and knee a jolly good whipping for playing up with my walking stick. Now I do not know if it helped my leg, but I felt a great deal of peaceful insight right after the raging, throbbing, Pain finally subsided, along with a deep sense of satisfaction at having the final say. The monk gets back to me. Good, oh, I'm glad things are a little bit better now, but I suggest a more peaceful place will bring you a greater sense of peace. Remember, it's only an illusion. I said thank you to the monk. <coughs> but I want to try something else. Yes, it's a very hot shower treatment. Oh, there's another shower. Oh. Oh, peace be upon me, the lovely soothing hot water. So I kept applying and applying the water. Ah, to the effect of there. Oh, I'm gradually increasing the temperature, the scalding hot, and the ending re the resulting in one end maddening, screaming itch, but no burning. Ah, oh, not to scratch. The sensation of this screaming itch, uh, singing itch, was almost like getting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is so good. Oh, how oh, more oh, getting it. Please. No, 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 it's an illusion. Bugger. Now I have two illusions. The painful throbbing and the screaming or getting it. Hell, I'm addicted to my illusions. I felt a little more at peace when I, when I took your advice and meditated on it. I did three sticks of sandalwood, six sticks of myrrh, another three sticks of something else. I don't remember. Now all I can say it got a little hazy and smoky in here. In fact, I lost sight of the offending leg from time to time, and the slight choking sensation, uh, and the slight choking sensation, the wonderful pungent fumes. I was able to lose sight of the pain of my leg for a short while. All I can say, peace is reflected in the form of meditation, resulting from meditating on nothingness. So, I accept my illusions, painful and or joyous as they may be, I let them go peacefully on their way. Illusions, I command you, go, go, go. Just bloody please go.